during the engagement process of uh, getting Nigerians to be part of the process itself of the amendment of the constitution, what were the issues overriding national interests and concerns raised by Nigerians? Let me start with one of the proposals that I believe is groundbreaking and I hope that this is a proposal that will be taken extremely seriously. And this has to do with the place of women in governance. When you look at countries like Rwanda, even Uganda, and a number of other countries, I'm not even talking about the United States, I'm not even talking about Europe, I'm talking about African countries, you will find that the place of women in governance is a very palace one. Women are not having the opportunity to be adequately represented in governance. And one of the groundbreaking proposals that I pointed out that I believe will be a watershed if it passes is the proposal to create special seats for women in the legislative arm of government. For instance, this proposal would require that every state will have one seat reserved for women in the Senate. At the level of the House of Representatives, every state will have two seats reserved for women. And at the level of the State House of Assembly, each senatorial district, and you recall that there are three senatorial districts in every state, each of these senatorial districts will have a seat reserved for women. Now, what is interesting is that at the moment when you take the composition of the Nigerian Senate, each state has three senators. What it means is that there will be three senators, but there is an additional seat for women, so every state will produce four senators. And the fact that there is a seat reserved for women in every state in, in, in relation to the Senate does not prevent women for, from contesting for the other three seats in relation to the existing seats in each state for the Senate, for instance. And this is intended to address, as I said, the gross underrepresentation of women in governance. And I hope that this is a proposal that will be taken extremely seriously. And just like we had the not too young to run bill as one of the signature accomplishments of the F uh, National Assembly, we will hopefully have this proposal as one of the signature accomplishments of the Ninth National Assembly.